They thought they defeated you, but now they got to watch you in victory. These people thought they took you out. They thought they, they thought they harmed you. They thought you would never come back from the attacks they sent your way. These people thought that about you, but you rose above the ashes. You were like the Phoenix that buried itself in the ashes and rose again after it caught on fire. If you know the story about the Phoenix, this was you, you rose. Now victory is yours, but they thought they won. Some people thought they won over your life for years and years and years. They thought when they did that humiliation ritual over your life, that that was the final count for you. You would never rise again after that. So they went on a merry way in life, thought they were better, thought they had you defeated, thought they were going to succeed in life as you. And then when they saw you, let's say 20, 30 years, from when they last did this spiritual attack attempt on your life. <laughs> they looked in fear, in agony, because they thought, they didn't think you was gonna be in your position. They didn't think you was gonna be in a leadership position. They didn't think you was gonna be used greater. They thought you lost your mind. They surely thought they had you in a mental institute. This is what they thought about you. They surely thought you was the nobody one. <laughs> they surely thought you was the one that wasn't going to go anywhere because they thought these spells worked. They thought these attacks worked. I don't know who this person is that came against you, but this person thought they had you defeated. And they sent others and told others they had you defeated. And everybody looked at you, mocked, laughed, and ran with that person and said, okay, you got them defeated. So that's less competition for us. But then they see you. Now they're in terror, in fear. Like, where did you come from? How did you get there? We thought you, we buried you over here. You wasn't supposed to grow past that. Oh, no. You wasn't supposed to make it past that attempt over your life. You was supposed to be, you was, we surely thought you would be mental by now. We thought we ran you crazy is what these people thought. We thought you would never be seen by the world again. We thought our powers worked. <laughs> You dealt with people that thought they were like the Power Rangers. <laughs> they really thought they were the Power Rangers. Go, go, Power Rangers. This is what these people thought. They thought they had you. That's what they thought. Anybody remember the Power Rangers show growing up? I love that show growing up, but this is what these people thought. They thought they had powers like the Power Rangers over your life. All they did was have the say pterodactyl. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry. <laughs> Crouching tiger. They thought, you, you, you know what they said. This is what these people thought. And I have to laugh because it's so funny that people thought they had that much power over you, but didn't have anything. They were blowing smoke, literally. They blew smoke your direction and thought they won. And here you are, shining bright like a diamond, looking nice, head into the next level and these people were still stuck back there in a time warp zone thought they still had you defeated because they had you defeated in 1985 they thought you they still think you're still there so this is why they're in distraught and terror in their mind when they see you up on that public platform the next president in your state the next ceo they're shocked that you're even there because in their mind, you're still stuck back there in 1985 where they left you at. And they still can't believe that that's you right now. That's you. That's the person that we buried. That's the person that we attacked. This is the person that we thought so lowly about. Now they're in a higher position. 
they're doing good. This can't be. Do they have a clone? A lot of people think you have a clone. They don't think you're you. They can't believe this person you are. Because <laughs> they still think you're 16 years old. They can't believe the 34, 35 year old person you are today. Because they still stuck in a time warp. Their mind is still stuck there. You left them back there, but yet they thought they left you back there. That's why they thought they defeated you. But victory was surely yours over the situation. They might have won that battle, but they surely lost that war. So they need to take this L about that. Take the L, grow from their foolishness, stop being overly childish, <laughs> grow up, and become better people. But some people, it's just hard to do that for. They think that because they had you stuck in a place that you will always be there. Because they thought their powers worked over you. These people didn't have any power. They had delusion going. They really were delusional when it came to you. But they say you were the delusional one. You were, you were walking in your purpose. You was being yourself. They wasn't being their self. There wasn't being a true self. It was all about clout. It was all about popularity. It was all about fitting in with the crowd, the people that was around them. That's what it was about. They wasn't being their true self. You was being your true self, and they despised you for that. But now they're being called to be their true self, and then they realize they didn't measure up to anything in life after all this attacks they put on your name as a person. Now they're left wondering, if we had done this person better, would they have been our friend? Some people, would they have dated me if I did this person better? Would I still be in a fa good favor with this person? So you got these people's minds going. Their mind is going in circles. La, la, la. On, on, it's going in circles. Literally like that. They don't know what to think about you. They don't know how to feel. They really thought they thought you was nobody. And it sucks that it sucks that you're crapping on them without crapping on them, should I say. In their mind, you crapped on them. In your mind, you just being yourself. You put in the work to get where you are. You didn't need to crap on them. But that's what they thought you were doing. Crapping on them. No, they crapped on you. And it backfired in the worst way. That's what happened. It backfired on them because they was being ugly. They were doing things they had no business doing. They thought they were better than you. They thought you would measure up to nobody. And now that you don't want to deal with these people, they feel in some type of way. They feeling upset. They're feeling... They just feeling downright horrible is what these people are feeling. <laughs> horrible ain't even a word, but that's how they're feeling. They really trying to solve this mystery like a puzzle about you and your life. We know that we had this person here. Well, we made that left turn here. And then we did that there. And then we sent this thing their way. And then we canceled it with a rope. This is how they're trying to figure out in their mind. Then we did this. They're really trying to figure this out. So how did that person not fall in that ditch we sent that way? And how come they're still not there? What? So now they're backtracking their steps. They're backtracking their steps on how they did you, how they treated you, and why it didn't, didn't work. It didn't work because it wasn't supposed to work. It wasn't supposed to work. They're really trying to solve this like a puzzle. They don't have you figured out. They really thought they had an education in figuring you out, but realize they felt that class when it came to you. They need to go have a seat, go get some real knowledge and some understanding about you as a person, leave you alone and learn to not try that foolishness ever again. That's what these people need to learn. And you were the perfect, 
the perfect teacher for that. They'll be all right. They'll be all right, but you keep going and not worry about a thing. Bye-bye.